This week, we'll extend our plotting customization by making a config file that someone with very little programming experience could easily modify to change the behavior of your plotting software. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, I want to show you the config parser tool. This is a really handy tool, and I encourage you to go to its documentation, which I have up here, and read through it, learn lots about it, but I want to go ahead and show you the basics today. So what this is going to allow us to do is take our plots that we were making last week and make them even more easy to customize by just changing a few things in a config file and rerunning the script. This is a great way to allow users that aren't that experienced in Python to modify your scripts, and it's also a nice way to help keep yourself sane when you're tweaking lots of plot parameters. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open my JupyterLab interface, and I'm gonna create a new text file, and we're gonna write the config file first, and then we'll actually parse it with Python. When I was early on in Python programming, I did something very similar to this, except I invented my own little configuration file language and parser, uh, only later to discover that this was some built-in functionality, which is really nice. So we're going to use the any file format, which is what config parser will parse for us. It's sort of like a, a Windows any file, if you're familiar with those. Basically the idea, is we have a key to a dictionary, if you will, very much like what we talked about last week, and then our configuration parameters for that key. So maybe our default is we have a color of tab blue. Uh, notice that I'm putting spaces around the equal sign, that is important. A line width of one and a line style of dash. Now I'm going to create configurations for my variables. So say pressure, color is black, line style is dashed, temperature, color is going to be tab red, and humidity, color is going to be tab green, line width of two, very similar to what we did last week. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and then rename it. I'm going to call mine plot underscore config dot any. And notice we get some nice syntax highlighting now. So now let's go ahead and create a notebook. I'm gonna create a new Python 3 notebook going to rename it as plotter and we'll do our imports. So we're going to import config parser numpy pandas matplotlib and use our matplotlib magic. So the first thing, of course, is we need to create some fake data. I'm going to do this in a very similar way to what I did last week. So I will go ahead and fast forward through typing all of this in, but of course, if you need to, pause the video and copy this down. But if you have the notebook where you followed along last week, this is going to be almost identical. All right, so as you see, after a little typo there, we've got our fake data. We can look at that using the head command. And we see we have pressure, temperature, humidity, and solar radiation. Remember, we have no configuration for solar radiation in our any file. In fact, we can split screen that and see that it is indeed not there. 
And this is one of those features of JupyterLab that I really like, being able to drag these things around and have multiple panes open to help me remember what all I need to be looking at or thinking about. So I'm going to go ahead and close that for now. And let's start parsing our config file. So first, I'm going to create an instance of the config parser. I'm going to call it config. So config equals config parser dot config parser. Notice the capitalization here. That's the convention for we're going to be creating an instance of the config parser class. And then I'm going to call the read method on plot config dot any. So there we go. We have now read in the configuration file and we have it stored in an instance of a config parser class called config. We can look at what sections are in there by calling the sections method on config and we see we have a pressure, temperature, and humidity section. Notice default is special. It's all capital and it does not show up in these sections. So now let's create our plotting routine. The number of fields that I have is the length or len of df.columns. I'm going to create my fig and array of axes. If this looks unfamiliar, you might check out our MetPy Monday from a couple Mondays ago on creating multiple axes with a single call to plot.subplots. So we will create as many plot rows as we have fields. And we'll share the x, since they all have, in theory, time as their x. Then I'm going to loop over each of these columns. And I need an index, so I know what axes to be on. And I need the field name, so I'm going to use the enumerate method. So for i and field in enumerate, df.columns. So first, I'm going to create a dictionary of the settings just like we did last week, and use our default settings. Because if we don't have anything else, defaults are what we need. I'm going to say settings are a dictionary of config and default. Notice this looks like we're getting something from a dictionary, but it's not quite that. So we have to give it this uh, wrap in dict to get that to work. Now, if we do have some settings, we want to update that settings dictionary. We might not have all of the settings, so that's why we're doing this to start with. Maybe we don't set line width on one, so we want to use the default line width, but maybe update the line color, for example. So I'm going to use an if. So if the field name is in config.sections, so if we have a config section for it, then we will update our settings dictionary with a dictionary of config, the field name. So if that looks a little dense, just read over it a couple of times. What we're doing is getting our configuration for that field, making it a dictionary, and then calling the update method on our defaults, only changing the things that are in this dictionary, leaving everything else in defaults alone. Now, for the sake of clarity, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my color. So color is settings.get color. Line style is settings.get line style. And this is a little tedious, and we will see some ways to get around this. Just not this week. So we've got our color, line style, and line width. Now on the ith axes, I'm going to plot df, the field name, color equals color, line width equals line width, and line style equals line style. I'm also on the ith axes going to set my y label with the name of the field. It may not be the best label, but it's certainly better than none. And now let's run that. So there we go, we have pressure and a black dashed line, 
temperature in a one width red line, humidity in a two width green line, and our defaults for solar radiation. So now we can go back to our config file and change things around if we want. So for example, I could change the temperature to have a line width of, let's say, a half. I could change it from tab red to just red. Now I save that. I go back here and I rerun the cells that read the file and do the plot. And now I have a thinner pure red line. I could go back and change my defaults from tab blue to tab orange. And now anything that I don't have a con specific configuration for would be orange. So I can go back up here, run these cells, and we have an error, which probably means that we have misspelled something. So P range to orange. We run it again. Notice with these error messages, you always want to scroll right to the bottom to see what the root cause is, because that's the closest part to your code. All right, and there we go. Now we've got orange defaults. So this is a great way for someone who's maybe not so familiar with Python or how your code works to just change a simple config file and completely alter the look of the plots. It's also a great tool for yourself in a fast scenario where you maybe need to change the look of these plots very easily without digging through your code. I hope that you found this useful and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.